been walking on the beach looking for shells and finally I decided to just take a break from the ocean and go to intercoastal waterway to this small island small sandbar and just set up a little can little fire and then also use this thing that a friend of mine gave me for Christmas is the tiniest barbecue grill it's very small it's like a little tiny suitcase uh, it's very small and I figured I will try it and actually I did use it and I made the best best hamburger with uh, with this little tiny uh, barbecue grill and you can tell from the box is very small and it's very cool it's good for camping hiking picnic and anything in barbecue traveling I mean anything this thing is very small I was I was not sure if it really will work so finally what I did I set up this whole uh, piece of wood here and I uh, took it out and I figured I'd give it a try so what you can do you can actually use wood in it or charcoal or you can use one of those lighter charcoal the one that has gas in it and let it burn until it's ready which i figure that's probably what i will do i'll put a small piece small bags of ziploc with them on it and have it with me all the time so if i need to cook something like hamburger or hot dogs or heat something i could do that now you can probably in the picture they have you can do two hamburgers but they have to be small but if you want to do a, a good size hamburger, usually one of them is uh, will fit this thing perfectly. So I put it together. And then you got to be careful with this thing because you don't want to you don't want to have charcoal in it and you don't want to knock it on your kids, on your foot or on your dog. Or, you know, you just don't want to knock it down. So just be careful with it when you use it. Now you can start the fire a different way. This is how I started mine, just to make it quick. Otherwise, I could have thrown a couple of charcoal inside that tiny little grill and wait for it. But this one is quickest way. And like always, I use my tiny, small Leatherman tool in everything. I uh, cut the stuff with, and here actually it came very handy. And you will see why. It came very handy because uh, like like right now I'm putting charcoal in here and be careful with your hands you see what I'm doing I'm holding the handle with my tool I didn't I didn't just put my hand there just letting it sit and I went over there and sat on my chair around a little fire and waited for it to settle a little bit down. I wish if this piece will have some locking thing on it so it can just doesn't move. Actually, I think I might be able to make something with a coat hanger, something small to hold it down so it doesn't move. I'm talking about the little crate that is on the top. Well, there is a driftwood here on this island. I'm, I'm actually really cooking here uh, bacon first. That's really good bacon I'm putting here. And first make sure you cook the bacon. And after I cook the bacon, I put the bacon on a plate and I put it on the side. It's easier to heat the bacon, cook the bacon and then heat it with a hamburger than doing the other way around. So far it's looking really good. Now, this thing it looks <laughs> is new. I just took it out of the box. It will never look the same once you use it. And even if you clean it, it will never look the same. Well, I understand that. So all of my friends, they know that I travel and I try to cook all over in the desert and on the boat and the mountain. And you guys seen my videos from before when I was cooking in the middle of Death Valley or in Lake Mead or uh, somewhere with different stuff that I made. So I'm just putting my hamburger on top of this and I have some uh, chopped garlic on top of it. 
I figured I'd just add some of that to it. And I let it cook. It started to smell good, actually. It is cooking. I keep going back over there and having a drink and then keep, and then came back and to check on this and make sure it's really I like my meat very well done. You can cook your hamburger the way you want on this thing. I like mine really well done. So I flipped it here to make sure I cook on this side. And then I will do one more flip so I can put cheese on top of it. You know, there is nothing is better than uh, grilling with charcoal. The smell and the taste is totally different. With bacon, when I put the bacon on top of this here, it just smelled different. And I kind of uh, took a bite of one of them. I couldn't wait, and it was very good. Putting the cheese on this, and usually is is good if you put a cheese on it. The corners you can actually flip them on the top so it melts on the hamburger instead of dripping like this. But this one is just is fine. It's looking yummalicious. Now one thing I learned also, I could put the bacon on top of it, and. I could put uh, the cheese and I could put the onion and then I took one of my cups the one that I uh, camping cup that I use to heat my uh, water or make coffee or anything I put one of them on top of the whole thing so it kind of uh, steams it I didn't do it with this uh, this burger here but I did them with the second burger that I made you see the onion is there but I didn't put the lettuce on it the second time what I did I just picked up the whole burger I'm holding it I put the buns in there I like the bun to be a little bit cooked it is just different it's different than just putting the uh, the burger on top of it Uh-huh, slide that on top of the bun. Now go and put the tomatoes, lettuce on top of it, and finish it. So, in order to see what it looked, I put a little bit of mayonnaise. You can put anything you want on top of it. And, you know, some people like mustard, some people like hot sauce, some people like whatever you want to put on top of it. So I decided to take my tool and cut it half so you guys can see what the whole thing looks from inside. Guys, it was nice. It was the taste of the charcoal on it. It did work. I was very impressed. I think it, I, I will use that again and again and I have some cool look at this thing, guys. Look at that. You can't beat that. So I'm very impressed with that, and uh, I wish if I had the second one, I will uh, use more than one. See how small that is, and actually what I did to it when I went home, I took those pieces from the top, I soaked them in water with a little soap overnight, and guess what, it just uh, it cleaned. The whole thing was really clean, and I closed the suitcase, and it's ready for next adventure. I have a few ideas, a few recipes. I might do a video of it. You see how the cup is on top of this, steaming everything in there? Cool idea, huh? Thank you guys for watching, guys. It was a beautiful day. I enjoyed it. And I'm glad that you guys watching this. Thank you for watching.